Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Finally, the conditions are perfect to do deep sky astrophotography. So tonight there will be a new moon and there will be no clouds. So tonight we'll be doing a bit of deep sky astrophotography. The plan for tonight is to capture a wide field image of the Andromeda galaxy, also known as M31. So tonight I would like to use a new deep sky astrophotography setup. So quite a few hours ago I set up this telescope for tonight's astrophotography session, so it's a new deep sky astrophotography setup for you and also for me, so therefore I would like to introduce that deep sky astrophotography setup later on to you. So join me for a new night of astrophotography from my backyard. First of all, I'd like to mention that this video is not sponsored, I'm not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself. But now I would like to start. So tonight I would like to capture the Andromeda Galaxy. So quite a few years ago, it was the first time for me to photograph the Andromeda Galaxy. So back then I used my big telescope, so my Skywatch 150, 750 PDS and telescope with uh, the exact same mount and the exact same camera. But at that time I used a uh, and focal length of 750 millimeters, and that was a bit too much for the Andromeda galaxy, so I was not able to get uh, the entire galaxy into my framing. Therefore, I would like to capture the Andromeda galaxy once again tonight, but this time I would like to use a focal length of approximately 135 millimeters, so it will be a very, very wide field image of the Andromeda galaxy. So, this is the setup I would like to use for tonight. So, this setup will be new to you and to me, and therefore, I would like to introduce that specific set up to you right now. So the basis of that entire setup will be the HEQ5 Pro go-to mount. So this is the mount I'm always using and that one should be okay for tonight's astrophotography session. It's a bit too big but that's definitely not a problem. On that I've attached on my camera. So usually I'm using a guide scope, a 60mm guide scope for astrophotography and I've removed the guide scope from it and I've used uh, these pieces here to, um, to attach them to my lens. So in order to be able to attach that entire setup to my mount. So the camera I'd like to use for tonight is uh, a DSLR camera with an APC sensor. It's the Canon EOS 2000D. So this is the camera I've been using over the past three years for, for deep sky astrophotography. And I'm very happy with that one. Unfortunately, it's not astro-modified, which um, is not that big a problem tonight. But still, uh, an astro-modified DSLR would be better for tonight. But since the uh, galaxy is quite, uh, quite bright, that's not that a big problem. But um, the astro-modified camera would be better. But as I mentioned, that's not, not a big problem. So a lens I would like to use for tonight um, is the Canon 75-300mm to 300 millimeter zoom lens. So I've been using that zoom lens over the past few years for capturing images of the night sky. And so tonight will be the very first time of capturing the Andromeda Galaxy with that specific lens. So we like to use a um, focal length of approximately 135mm because at that um, focal length I can use a quite long exposure time which would help me to include a bit more details in my final results and we'll get a wide field image of the Andromeda Galaxy. So this time, definitely the Andromeda Galaxy will be in my framing as in total. At the front of that setup, I've attached the CW ASIR Pro. Um, so I'm using the CW ASIR Pro to control that entire setup. So as you can see, it's connected to my mount, so I can control the entire mount with that Astro computer, and I can control the camera and the lens. So everything is controlled with this Astro computer, which helps me to select um, the frame it would like to capture tonight. Right now I do have a few problems with balancing, but um, hopefully I will fix these problems later on in the, in the evening. And So that's the setup I would like to use for tonight. I'm really, really uh, interested if that's working, and I'm so happy to see the very first images of the Andromeda Galaxy uh, with, by using this setup for deep sky astrophotography. So I personally think that this uh, setup looks great for tonight and it seems like everything's working. So I've tested the mount and everything uh, quite a few minutes ago. So I really hope that we'll be able to capture some amazing images of the Andromeda Galaxy this night. So I would like to use an ISO value of 800 because that's the value I'm always using. So that value, uh, I have less noise in my final results, which is very important, especially when using uh, those DSLR cameras for astrophotography. Um, I would like to use um, F5 because that helps me to um, get better star quality. And I would like to use a single exposure time of approximately three minutes. So I'm planning to capture the Andromeda Galaxy all night long. So hopefully tomorrow I will have an exposure time, as so a total exposure time of seven hours. So between five and six o'clock, there might be clouds, but I really hope that there will be no clouds tonight and we'll be able to capture seven hours of total exposure time. So in quite a few hours, when it gets dark, I would like to start imaging the Andromeda Galaxy. I really hope that everything um, 
go as planned and we'll be able to capture some amazing sharp images of the Andromeda galaxy. Last night everything went quite according to plan, it's already the next morning. So when it comes to the setup, everything went quite according to plan. So I used a single exposure time of 3 minutes and uh, the stars were sharp and round even in the edges. So definitely the mounted a perfect job and the camera as well. For sure when using a lens that is a bit more comp complex, a bit more expensive, you will get better star quality, but in general I'm really really happy with how the images turned out to be. So I captured nearly 150 single light frames, so 7 hours of total exposure time. But we're looking at the images, I've realized that um, there were some clouds tonight. So um, between uh, 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock and around 1 o'clock um, there were a few clouds. So unfortunately I had to lead a few light frames, um, but in summary that was definitely enough to achieve great results of the Andromeda Galaxy. This is my final edited image of the Andromeda Galaxy. As I took a closer look at the images from last night, I've noticed that unfortunately some of them had clouds. As a result, I had to delete a few images. In total, I achieved an exposure time of approximately 5 hours. I captured at an ISO value of 800, f5.0 with a single exposure time of approximately 3 minutes. The stars themselves were very, very round in every image. The star quality of that lens cannot be compared to an expensive telescope, but nevertheless, I'm very happy with how this image of the Andromeda Galaxy turned out to be. If this video was interesting and informative to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. And if you have any questions on that specific lens or on that mount or in general on astrophotography or on that specific setup, definitely feel free to ask me down below in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.